Hello there, folks. Time for another video. Well, I was contemplating on what to do today, what to use, but I have a lot of soaps that I still want to make videos on that I haven't used yet. Well, I've used them, but I haven't done them on video yet, but I'm just kind of feeling like a coconut kind of day. We had like tons of rain last night and I don't know, I woke up, the sun was shining this morning and I don't know, for some reason coconut is calling my name today. So I am going to go to the good old Taylor Ball Bond Street Coconut. Which, uh, this is a cream. Ah, just love that. It smells like a pina colada to me. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my Magritte's V3 normal head today on the old anodized blue stainless panel there, which I believe is the M16. And blade, I have a Gillette Nasset in there. I don't think I've ever tried a Nasset in there. I hope it's not going to be too rough because I do have a couple little red marks here and there. Hopefully I don't open those up too bad and before I have to send this brush on its way I want to use it again um, this is the brush that we're kind of passed around trying out it's the one that got Josh uh, Redbeard logo on it Mr. Josh at Redbeard Shaves, Mr. Josh Morris, and it has that awesome knot in it. And I'm going to knock some of the water out of it today because I want to, uh, I'm going to face lather this. And uh, last time I had way too much water because this, this brush holds some serious amount of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the face. I'm like super sore today. <laughs> My chest is very sore. I guess the uh, breastbone is starting to heal. So, woke up this morning like, ugh. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go old school the way I used to always do my Taylor Wall Bond Street. I'm going to take a dollop out of the tub there. Going to just push it in the brush there in the middle and I can always do this a couple times if it's not enough because this brush is a lather magnet so we'll see how this does such a shame I gotta send this brush out the Umi I think it's called Umi the company who makes the brush well, let's see how she does This is with the Taylor Old Bond Street Coconut. All I did was put a little dollop inside the, uh, the knot there, so we'll see. I don't want to add too much water to this, just a little dunk. Hmm. Seems to be uh, decent. I just don't want that lather to dry out on me. Let's see. Let's clear the lips there. A little bit of the nose.
In case anybody knows what day it is today, it's the anniversary of D-Day. Just thought I'd bring that up. Just to thank all those veterans out there who served on D-Day. My grandfather did, who he passed a few years ago, but he served on D-Day, Omaha Beach. I like the, uh, the V3 head, the Maggots V3 head. It's slightly, I don't want to say super aggressive for me, but it is on the aggressive side. Got good feedback with the Gillette Nessa blade in there. Oh, and it's first use on the Gillette Nasset blade also. That was a nice, close, close first pass. The only thing that I didn't do traditional today was I don't have a fishing-related shirt on today for all my fishing buddies. Sorry, guys. Teller of all bond fruit has you know good slickness there. The residual isn't like stellar, but it's still pretty good. I still got some residual slickness there, but I don't know if anybody caught if any of you guys caught the uh that little mini series that was on HBO about Chernobyl. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I actually finished watching it the other day. Yeah, Chernobyl happened in 1986. I was actually a, in 1986. I was a freshman in college, and I kind of remember when all that happened, but didn't pay too much attention to it because I was young and didn't care about stuff like that. But wow. I can't believe uh, how crazy that was. So if you have HBO, check it out. I think they made uh, five episodes. Sings.
Sorry, I didn't want to chat when I was going up under the nose there. Usually one of the spots where I get myself. Just got that little spot that I always have issues with. I'm actually gonna empty my sink because I see a lot of whiskers flowing on top there. A lot of floaties. Yeah, the rest of my face feels great. Got it a little bit right there, which contemplating if I should actually mess with that or let's see. I think I'll leave that alone. I think that should be good. Yeah, that's fine now. Because that's where I usually get myself. Just going to rinse off the razor a little bit. Alright, just going to throw some cold water on my face. pretty good not the slickest super slickest soap the teller wall bond still good slickness not like some of the artisan soaps out there which has some crazy residual slickness but it's still good it's the soap I started out with well I can't say the soap I started out with I started out with the old Vanderhagen set that my wife got me way back I'm gonna say 2006 when she bought me that Vanderhagen set for the first time. But after I went through that hard soap, I did buy Taylor Vol Bond. And I used Taylor Vol Bond Street for about 10 years before I ventured otherwise. Before I start watching all the YouTube videos, which now I'm doing. So, alright, so yeah, the face feels good. Smooth. I was going to hit it with some alum, but. I don't have any nicks or anything, so let's make sure the soap's out of the air, so it's pretty good stuff. So uh what I use in today's shave real quick is the uh Maggard's V3 head. That's the standard V3 head. And blade that's in there is the Gillette. <laughs> That's that. There you can see that there. There you go. I'll actually got to clean this up later. I usually clean my razors. I clean them every time I use them. But I, I usually clean them when I'm kind of uploading my videos. So, put that over there. And like I said, there was a nasset in there, which I showed you the blade. There's the packet. And soap. Whoa, I didn't close the container. Soap today, Taylor of All Bond Street, coconut. Good stuff. And I don't know if there's anything going to be in the brush, left in the brush, but 
this brush is a lather magnet and there's a little bit in there not tons but there's some <laughs> nice slick soap there not crazy slick but slick gets the job done And let me just quickly rinse this out so I can show you the awesome knot in that brush. What I'll do is I'll put, because I really don't know, uh, I looked for the brush online, the manufacturer, which is Oumi, O-U-M-O, something like that. But I'll leave Josh's Redbeard YouTube link there, and you can always send him a message to, uh, inquire about this brush I do have to send it on to the next guy to test it out and the funny thing is it still has the scent of the uh, chiseled face midnight stag that I used the other day in it but this knot it's pretty wicked. It's like a sponge. It holds water like incredible. And it sucks up the soap and the lather like amazing. And after she gets all wet, she blooms out like crazy. Nice little gel tips in there. Silver. I think, it's a, I think Josh told me it's a silver tip badger. With the gel tips. It's got his little logo right there. So uh, I'll leave the link to his uh, YouTube page there, and you can ask him some questions about it if you'd like. Uh, we're just passing that around just so a couple guys can try it out. Good brush. Alrighty, so let me finish off this awesome shave. Um, we'll use a bomb today. And I think what will go nice with this, with the coconut, is the uh, Soap Commander Vision. It's got a little aqua, some amber, and a slight little bit of mint. Which, I think will be a nice pairing. I like the Soap Commander Vision scent. Reminds me of good summer scent. Does have a little bit of that mint at the end. But you also could use around Christmas time because it kind of has a little bit of that candy cane finish. As my kids would say. Good stuff. Alrighty. That was a little Soap Commander Vision. I also have the matching soap for this. Which is good stuff also. Alright folks. Well, hope you enjoyed today's shave. And if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. If you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up. And uh, until next shave. Glenn signing off.